the garden. Today we're going to be talking about woolly caterpillars. You might also know them as banded woolly bears or woolly worms. These are actually the larva stage of an Isabella tiger moth. They're a fairly large orangish yellow moth. They have little black spots on the wings. Caterpillars show up around September or October in the US and southern Canada. They have 13 individual segments where they sprout out those little fuzzy hairs. Those are actually spines and are the main defense of the caterpillar. When they're threatened, they'll curl up in a tight little coil to protect their legs. They don't actually release the spines like a porcupine would, but they're still very sharp, so it's recommend you don't handle them. It can cause skin irritation in some people. They're black on both ends, with a sort of a reddish brown band in the middle, and that can vary in size. It was once believed to foretell the severity of the coming winter. A wider brown band meant a milder winter, and a narrow one meant a really harsh cold one. In other variations, the darkness of that color was used, or if they were crawling south, it was believed they were trying to escape that harsh winter. This actually carries over to today in woolly bear festivals. We'll dress up in costumes and collect a whole bunch of caterpillars and have races. Sometimes the winter is picked out to foretell the harshness of the winter, kind of like we do on Groundhog's Day. They get around with this wriggly worm motion. It's kind of a backwards wave, and it somehow propels them forwards. They just crawl around looking for food, and they eat all sorts of different plants. They're what's known as a generalist feeder, so they'll eat little flowers and herbs, shrubs, even leaves of trees. Caterpillars produce an antifreeze over winter and find a really cozy spot to insulate themselves. Apparently the caterpillars can live for up to 14 years. When they thaw out the next spring, some of them will produce this chrysalis and transform into a moth. They actually spin their little spines into the cocoon. I've seen some on the trails that have been stepped on and it looks like their spines are like an exoskeleton, something that the caterpillar is kind of wearing. They'll go through their metamorphosis in a cocoon and emerge as an Isabella tiger moth. But they spend a really brief time as a moth. Something like 24 hours they'll reproduce and lay eggs and then die. There are other types of woolly caterpillars. One of them belongs to the garden tiger moth. This one has longer hairs and a more solid brown color. It doesn't have those very distinct stripes. But here in Minnesota, these woolly caterpillars are a sure sign that autumn is in full swing. So I hope you keep an eye out for the woolly caterpillars or the Isabella tiger moths. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.